This video is inspired by a post by Christine P at Mahjong That's It Facebook group. If you don't belong to that group, look for a link below the video. It's a fabulous group. Many, many thousands of avid Mahjong players there. So Christine played in a game recently where she had six jokers and was perplexed as to what to do. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to handle it when you have a plethora of jokers. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. In this video, I'm going to be using the Mock American Mahjong card. Look for a link below the video so that you can download it and follow along. This card has been designed so that this video will never expire. So five, 10 years from now, this video will still apply because that Mock card is timeless. This time we're gonna start with five jokers. I'll get the rest of the tiles and create a mock Charleston. Let's work with the known tiles here. We have five through eight right there. We could do maybe consecutive, maybe something with dragons using one suit. There are Let's see, one, two, three hands that use one suit. One of them uses dragons, the fourth hand down, and it has flowers. We need four flowers for that fourth hand down, and we could use the jokers. So let's hold the dragon. I think that could be a plan B though, because we have no flowers. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's start by passing these three and see what happens. We've got a north and a south. Let's see if we can do news. There is the concealed hand with news. Kong, pair, Kong, news. We have tiles here that we can work with. We have to give up a tile though. Let's go ahead and leave our options open and pass these three. We could always call for a single wind. We got a flower and a pair of norths. So we have five, six, seven, eight, and a flower. There's one hand in one suit that uses flowers, the fourth one down. Let's go ahead and give up on one of these tiles. We got the dragon. There's a three and a seven, but really this I think is all we need right now. We don't need to be concerned with the three because we have a consecutive run with five, six, seven. We don't have any keepers here. Another three west. There's a six and a flower. That's one reason why you really don't want to pass flowers. They're very valuable because they're everywhere on the card. Every category has flowers. So we have five, six, seven red, one tile to pass an optional cross. The hand I'm talking about here is the fourth hand down. We need a Kong of flowers, a Kong of two consecutive numbers and a pair of red dragons. So we could give up a five or a seven and I'm trying to remember, I don't believe that either of these tiles have come and gone through the Charleston. So I do know though that a red dragon was going around in the Charleston, so I want to better my chances of getting it. So let's hold one of the consecutive numbers and pass two in the optional cross. See if we can get that red dragon back. 
nope, we've got two discards. But here we have two flowers. We can use one of the jokers there, ready on a Kong. One of the jokers here, ready on a Kong. Two of the jokers here, ready on a Kong. This hand would be set. We're ready to Kong, Kong, Kong. All we need is a pair for the dragon. So we have two discards and we can use these jokers everywhere for this particular hand. We'll go on to the next one. This time we're going to start with six jokers. I'll get the rest of the tiles and create a mock Charleston. No multiples, but I do see a pattern, one through five. Let's pass those two. We have one, two, one, three, four, five. We have a gap of no two, but we do have three, four, five, and fours. Let's see if there's a hand that uses consecutive run like that. Three, four, five, consecutive run. Three, four, five, no, we need, for, for example, the second from the bottom under consecutive run, pairs of three, four, five with Kongs of the next two consecutive numbers. I think we should maybe try for one consecutive run, whether it's the consecutive run firsthand or maybe even a quint. But focus on consecutive run. Another thing we could do is one, three, five, little odds. Let's go ahead and give up on these. So we'll see what we can fill in. We got a red dragon and we have tiles we can pass. We're just gonna gather consecutive run or one, three, five. We got a five and a south. I still think one suit is good. Let's pass these three. Six, seven, look at that. I hope nobody would pass a pair. Let's give up on the red and the six because there is a consecutive run hand, second from the bottom, three, four, five pairs, Six in dots, seven in bams. Four consecutive numbers. Three, four, five, six. We have a gap, seven. These two blocks are Kongs. These are pairs. Let's pass these three and see what happens. We got a three. That takes care of one of the pairs. Three, four, five. But now we're on a cross. This is obligatory. We have to pass. I think I would go ahead and keep my consecutive run intact. Let's give up the seven. We got a three and we have tiles we can pass. So we have three, four, five. We did pick up a two, which is consecutive. Two, three, four, five. Let's give up those two because there is a hand here, third one down, pair of flowers, pung of one number, then two consecutive numbers, which will be pungs, and then a third number matching this first suit. That would be another number. So it would be two, three, four, five, bam, crack, bam. So, Let's go ahead and pass these three. We got a flower, two, three, four. Now here we have a two, three, two, three. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, two, three. I think I would stick with the third hand down. Pair of flowers, pung of the bam, two, 
Pung here, pung here, pung five, bam. Let's pass two an optional cross. No keepers there, we have discards. So let's see how we fared. We're gonna fill in with jokers. So here we have potential pung, pung, potential pung, and then lots of jokers to work with for our other pung. Pung, 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 pung. Two bam, three crack, four crack, five bam. And then all we need here is a flower. That would be third hand down under consecutive run, two discards. What I learned from this exercise is that you don't need to focus so much on the jokers. They're nice to have, don't get me wrong. But the key is to look for the strength for the known tiles in your hand, whether they're multiples, a repeating pattern, or maybe one particular category. Go through the Charleston and build around the strength of your hand. At the end of the Charleston, identify the best hand to play utilizing the jokers you have to fill in the gaps and go from there. The jokers are really just fill-in tiles. Just because you have a plethora of jokers doesn't mean that you can play a quint. You might just play pungs and kongs and don't be afraid to play something with pairs although pairs will limit your usage of the jokers, so keep that in mind. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos, and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.